morning all of you welcome back to course artificial intelligence so our today's topic of video is state space representation of water jug problem so before this we understand what are the different as domains of ai and the turing test approach and now today we try to understand uh, how to represent water jug problem in case of artificial intelligence so state space representation is very important thing it help you how to represent a particular problem so here we are going to see uh, how to represent water jug problem and we have to solve it so let's discuss all this thing one by one so before starting this water jug problem uh, we try to understand few basic terminologies that we use so very first is problem space so what do you mean by problem space problem space is nothing but an environment where search is performed this is what our problem space means it's it represent a specific area where we should find our uh, where we should find the solution that is the search space then next one is a state space state space means what set of all states reachable from initial state that means uh, while solving a problem uh, in the problem space there may exist initial state there may exist intermediate state and there may exist goal state initial state means what initially you are going to start from particular position so you can consider it as a initial state goal state means what it's a state where you need to reach and in order to move from your initial state to goal state there are n number of intermediate states are there and all these states together to form a state space so problem space means what problem space is a area where we are searching for our solution and state space is a collection of all states that is reachable from initial state so in this case we have three states one is the initial state intermediate states and the final state so the set of all possible configuration is the space of a problem states so problem space is important problem space where we are going to find the solution now let's discuss water jug problem first of all try to understand what is a water jug problem see water jug is a, a very uh, important problem uh, maybe you, if you are appearing for uh, any particular interview in analytics uh, they may ask this kind of problem this kind of problem may be asked okay so in that case you should know how to solve such kind of problem though here uh, we need to follow steps but at the time of giving interview they may give a simple paper and ask you to give solution for this particular problem so for that purpose you should understand how to solve such kind of problem what approach you need to follow okay what you need to do so uh, whenever you need to solve such kind of problem it can be solved in a three steps first one is a uh, specification of the problem that is important then uh, you need to specify the rules and first uh, and last one is uh, state space representation of a given solution what are the solution that you have find you have to represent it uh, in the form of state space representation so first of all we try to understand what is a diff, uh, what is water jug problem so in this case one water jug problem is given to us you are given two jugs a uh, four gallon and three gallon jug so here you can see i have two jugs provided uh, one is a four gallon uh, gallon represent the capacity of water generally the capacity of water can be uh, measured in terms of liter or you can say gallon so here we consider it as a gallon so sometimes you may get a liter also okay liter and gallon both are means both are the uh, measuring units for water so here you have been given two uh, jugs one is a four gallon jug and the uh, second one is a three gallon jug and neither has any measuring mark on it in this case there is no measuring marks that this is one liter then this is two liter the three liter such kind of mark is not there and there is a pump that can be used to fill the jug with a water in order to fill this water into that jug there one tap of water is available so the problem is that how can you get exactly two gallons of water in four gallon jug so you need to whenever you will get such kind of problem you need to carefully read what is given in the problem statement itself so in this case we want to get exactly two gallons of water in four gallon jug this is important <clears throat> maybe it asks for 
how to get two gallon water in three gallon jug or in this case there can be a initial uh, condition initial condition is that uh, three gallon uh, three gallon jug already consist of uh, uh, one gallon of water such kind of initial condition may be there that's why you need to read this problem very carefully what is being given in that case and then and then you have to uh, solve this kind of problem so i told you that this kind of problem can be solved in three steps very first you need to define your problem second you need to specify the rules that you may use in order to solve this problem and third one is a state space representation now step number one so in step number one uh, what we'll do we will represent a problem we will define the problem so in order to define a problem what i've done state x comma y here x represent four gallon jug whereas y represent three gallon jug so what is the possible value of x because the four gallon jug maximum capacity is four and lowest capacity is what zero so in what what is the possible value of x either 0 or 1 2 3 or 4 similarly what is the possible value of for y 0 1 2 or 3 so in this case you can take any variable to represent the problem here i taken x y you can uh, take any other variable a1 a2 x1 x2 like this you can take any variable only thing is that you need to represent that what is that x represent what is that y represent and what are the possible values so in this case we talk about three liter four liter maybe uh, you will get uh, another problem where you need to specify five liter six liter uh, such kind of thing may also be there so they you need to specify what is your starting state starting state means initial state initially uh, both the jugs are empty because uh, nothing is given in the problem statement that initially uh, four gallon jug water uh, four gallon jug consist of uh, two gallons of water or one gallon of water such kind of thing is not there that's why here initial state is 0 comma 0 means value of x is 0 and value of y is 0 this is the initial state and what is our goal state our goal state is that we want how much uh, how much water in a four gallon jar exactly two gallons of water so what is our goal state 2 comma n so here 2 represents four, uh, 2 gallons of water in 4 gallon jug and why I have here n because n represent the value of y and what is the possible value of y 0 1 2 3 means we don't care about how much water we are getting finally in the 3 gallon jug maybe 1 gallon 2 gallon 3 gallon okay that's why I have written n over there okay for n any n attempting to end up in goal state okay so in this way i have specified what is my initial state and what is my goal state i again i'm repeating my initial state is 0 comma 0 because no water is present in the jug initially that's why 0 comma 0 goal state is what uh, what is our expected output uh, at the end i expect that two gallons of water to be there in the four gallon jug that's why i written two here i have written n because a n represent i miss it is not given in the problem how much water we want in the three gallon jug maybe 0 1 2 or 3 that's why here i specified yet so this is what step one that is uh, uh, specification or define your problem now step number two rule specification you have to formulate the rules now how to formulate the rules for such kind of problem so thing, uh, thing is very simple rules means what what are the possible ways that you can do just like that in uh, suppose you are playing the game of chess so in that case rules may be there uh, means what are the rules that you can form uh, how that particular entity should move from one place to another so similarly in case of water jug problem what are the different possibilities are there and that possibility will represent the rules that rules you have to specify by your own okay there is no thumb rule uh, but in this case you need to specify all the possible directions suppose you are playing uh, puzzle problem eight puzzle problem so in that case tile has to be moved so in that case rule can be uh, move to left move to right uh, move to top and move to bottom these are only four possibilities are there so these four rules may be formed so in case of four water jug problem uh, you can form a rule okay so rule is nothing but a uh, what are the different possibility that may exist over there so that possibility uh, you have to consider over here okay 
so what are the different possibility either uh, first possibility is that you can feel the four gallon jug you can feel the three gallon jug then you can uh, empty all the water from four gallon jug you can empty uh, all the water from three gallon jug uh, you can transfer uh, some amount of water from four gallon jug to three gallon jug then you can uh, transfer exactly uh miss all water either you can transfer some of the water from 4 gallon to 3 gallon or you can transfer uh, all water see uh, most of the time i found that student facing problem how to formulate the rules in water jug problem see i will give simple tip or uh, i will tell you in simple how to remember the rule so very first thing uh, so in this case what are the first two rule first two rule can be there uh, you have to fill 4 gallon jug you have to fill 3 gallon jug you have formed the four rules now what is the next possibility after filling the jug what is the next possibility next possibility is that you will uh, throw all the water from 4 gallon jug so again you will get another rule you will throw all the water from 3 gallon jug again you will get another rule okay these are the possibilities uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, these are two first possibility after that what is the other possibility other possibility is that you will transfer some water okay you will uh, transfer some water from 4 gallon jug to 3 gallon jug similarly 3 gallon jug to 4 gallon jug this is for some then next two rules you can form uh, in order to transfer all water from 4 gallon jug to 3 gallon jug or all water from 3 gallon jug to 4 gallon jug so in this way you have to formulate the rules now let's try to understand it okay now see here i have for, uh, formulated a first rule what is the first rule x comma y x represent 4 gallon jug y represent 3 gallon jug and what is the possibility fill the 4 gallon jug i have filled the 4 gallon jug that's why what is the value of x the value of x is 4 and if this value of y remains as it is because i have filled only 4 gallon jug that's why here x is replaced by 4 and in this case what is the condition if x is less than 4 when you can able to fill the uh, full ga 4 gallon jug when it is being empty or uh, there is a space to fill the water that's why the value of x should be less than 4 then and then you can fill the 4 gallon jug this is how rule number 1 is specified now similarly you can specify rule number 3 only in this case what is our aim our aim is to fill 3 gallon jug now in this case again x comma y now in this case x will remain as it is the value of y is 3 and in this case again what is the condition value of y should be less than 3 unless and until the value of y is less than 3 then and then you can able to fill the water okay that's why specifying this condition is also important that the value of y should be less than 3 suppose uh, already 3 gallons of water already present in the uh, 3 gallon jug and you try to fill the water into it so it is not possible that's why this condition has to be specified so in this way we have formulated the two rules for filling the jug now next two rules are there pour some water out from four gallon jug okay uh, you are throwing some water from four gallon jug okay there is a possibility that i will throw some kind of water from four gallon jug i don't know uh, whether i will throw one gallon or two gallon three gallon i don't know but here i specified some i not specified all the water i specified uh, throw some water out from four gallon jug so where you are throwing you are throwing on the ground so again x comma y here x minus d what is that d represent d represent uh, that uh, again in this case what is condition the value of x should be greater than 0 when you can able to throw some water when there's uh, some water already present in the jug then and then you can uh, able to throw the water that's why here condition is given if x greater than 0 and in this case what is an uh, after which what is the changing thing x minus d here what that small d represents small d represent the water amount of water some amount of water that you are thrown that's why we have written x minus d comma y and what is the statement pour some water out of four gallon jug now we have formulated the rule for four gallon jug now we have to formulate this uh, similar rule for three gallon jug so again x comma y now in this case again condition y value should be greater than zero and here x comma y minus d that means i am throwing uh, d amount of water from three gallon jug so in this case we have formulated this two rule for throwing some amount of water from four gallon jug and 
three golden jug. Now next two rules we need to formulate that we need to throw all the water from four gallon jug and all the water from three gallon jug. So we need to formulate next two rules. So here again x comma y again the condition should be that value of x should be greater than zero. There and then you will throw all the water. Suppose imagine a situation your jug is already empty. How can you throw all the water? Okay. So here uh, what is final state? Zero comma y. Zero comma y means what? Be because I have thrown all the water, that's why the value of x is zero. In this case, x minus d because I don't know how much water I have thrown. That's why here x minus d. But here it is known that you have thrown all the water. That's why uh, final value of x is zero. But the value of y remains as it is. So empty the four gallon jug on the ground. So in this rule, what I have done? I have thrown all the water from four gallon jug. Similarly, I can throw all the water from three gallon jug. So in this case, what is how can I formulate the rule? X comma y. Here the value of y should be greater than zero. And finally, what is uh, value of x remains as it is, and the value of y is zero because I have thrown all three gallons of water on the ground. So in this case, in this way, we have formulated six rules. Now, what are the next uh, probability? Now, the uh, next probability is that you will transfer some amount of water from uh, three gallon jug to four gallon jug, or from four gallon jug to three gallon jug. Means two things are there. Either you can transfer all the water, or you can transfer some amount of water. As we have seen previously, we can throw some amount of water on the ground, or we can throw all the water. Okay. Similarly, here possibility either transfer some water from four gallon to three gallon, or you can transfer all the water from four gallon to three gallon. So in this case, again we will formulate next four rules. Okay. So here, what is the rule? Uh, pour uh, pour water, some water from uh, three gallon jug to four gallon jug until four gallon jug is full. Okay, means I am trying to transfer water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug up to when, up to uh, four gallon jug gets full. So how to specify this? Initially x comma y, and finally what four comma y minus four minus x. How it is? Uh, how we derive this? Because we are transferring the water from. Three gallon jug to four gallon jug. So obviously, uh, you have written four gallon jug is full. That's why here the final value of x is four. And what is the final value of y? Final value of y is you have to minus four minus x. How much amount of water that you have transferred from three gallon to four gallon? That's why you have written y minus four minus x. Means you have to minus. Suppose just imagine a situation that I am transferring only one gallon of water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug. So obviously, in case of four gallon jug, I will minus it, it that water, okay? And then I will minus it from y. How much water that I have transferred from three gallon jug to four gallon jug, okay? So in this case, I have formulated the rule again. In this case, condition is what? X plus y should be greater than equals to four. Obviously, the value of uh, these two should be greater than four because you are transferring um, water from three gallon to four gallon, and four gallon should get full. And in this case, the value of y should be greater than zero because you are transferring the water. Okay, so value of y should be greater than zero. Suppose. Uh, Value of y is zero. How can you transfer some water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug? That's why this condition is there that value of y should be greater than zero, and the addition of this x plus y should be greater than equals to four. Because if already uh, four gallon jug is full, and you are saying that I have transferred some amount of water, is it possible to transfer some water? No. That's why here we have written that the Value of x plus y should be greater than equals to four. Now, similarly, you can formulate the rule. Now, here uh, we are transferring some water from four gallon jug to three gallon jug, and less or until three gallon jug gets full. Again, initially x comma y. Finally, reverse of this x minus three minus y, and finally, what you will get in y? You will get exa uh, three gallons of water. Again, same similar condition. X plus y should be greater than equals to three, and the value of y should be. Sorry, here uh, we want that the value of x should be greater than zero because you are transferring the water from four gallon to. 
3 gallon okay here uh, there is one correction here the value of x should be greater than 0 okay so in this two rule what we have done we have transferred some amount of water from 4 gallon to 3 gallon or 3 gallon to 4 water 4 gallon now next two rules we formulate to uh, specify uh, to transfer all the water from 3 gallon to 4 gallon or for 4 from 4 gallon to 3 gallon okay pour all water from 3 gallon jug to 4 gallon jug so in this case initial state is again x comma y what will be the final pour all water from 3 gallon to 4 gallon that means x plus y you are transfer all the water that's why here you get x plus y and y gets 0 and in this case what can be the condition the value of x plus y should be less than equals to 4 okay the value of uh, see when you can able to transfer all water when its value is less than equals to 4 then and then you can do this and the value of y is greater than 0 why value of y should be greater than 0 because you need to transfer the water from y to x pour all water from 3 gallon to 4 gallon after transferring this here you will get x plus y now here pour all water from 4 gallon jug to 3 gallon jug so again initial state x comma y uh, in this case pour all water from this so in this case what is the initial condition x plus y should be less than equals to 3 and the value of x should be greater than 0 there and then you can transfer the water from 4 gallon to 3 gallon uh, pour all water from 4 gallon jug to 3 gallon jug so in this case I assume that uh, means all water means what it is not possible that 4 gallon water to be transferred to 3 gallon water though I have specified the rule so some student may get confused uh, that sir in case of 4 gallon water uh, 4 gallon uh, water is there and in another jug uh, capacity of another jug is of only 3 gallon how can you transfer all the water so in that case uh, we assume that uh, all water we are transferring so maybe that 3 gallon water, uh, water is present okay so uh, suppose see in this case two possibilities are there either uh, 4 uh, gallon water is present in the jug x or uh, 3 gallon is present 2 gallon is present or 1 gallon is present okay so you are transferring all the water suppose 4 gallon water is there you can transfer 3 gallon water and 1 gallon water remains as it is in the jug x so don't get confused okay these are the possibilities that we are specifying so these are the mandatory rules that should be there and then to these two optional rules are there pour the 2 gallon from 3 gallon jug to 4 gallon jug this is a specific rule okay these 10 rules are generalized rule and last two rules are optional one they are uh, specific rules uh, that we formulate based on the problem because in this case uh, two gallons will be required later on i will tell you uh, what is the importance of this rule 11 and 12 so the 11 and 12 these are two optional rule. pour the two gallon water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug so in this case initially we considered that 0 comma 2 there is no water present in the four gallon jug but two gallons of water present in the uh, three gallon jug so i need to transfer this two gallon water from three gallon to four gallon okay this is a specific rule for this particular problem then uh, next final rule empty the two gallons in four gallon jug on the ground so two gallon water present in the jug that i will throw so that's why i have written 0 comma y so these two rules are customized rule uh, not a generalized rule okay so this is our step two where we specify the rules so i hope you understand how to specify the rules rules means what what are the possibilities are there i just given a simple example uh, may you uh, maybe you uh, played a game of eight puzzle so in 8 puzzle problem uh, we are moving the tile we are moving the tile from one location to another so in that case four possibilities are there either you can move the tile in the left direction right direction up direction or downward direction so they are considered as a rule similarly in water jug problem what are the possibilities are there what you can do you can transfer all water uh, some water you can throw the water so all these possibility you to consider so this is step 2 rule specification now third is solution how to find a solution 
So here imagine that four gallon jug, three gallon jug, and here you have to specify what rule you have applied. So this is your initial state zero zero. Initially no water is present in the four gallon jug or three gallon jug. That's why here zero zero is there. So initially what I'll do, I applied rule number two. Uh, what is rule number two? Fill the three gallon jug. That's why here you will find zero three. Here this value zero is replaced by three because what we have done, uh, we have added three gallons of water in three gallon jug. And by which rule? By applying rule number two, fill the three gallon jug. Okay, so we got this zero three two. Rule uh, this two represent rule number. This three represent how much water we have filled in a three gallon jug. After that, what we'll do? We'll transfer this three gallon water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug. Okay, that means we are transferring the water where we apply rule number nine. What is rule number nine? Pour all the water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug. We have transfer all the water. That's why we have applied rule number nine. So here. After transferring this here, three is there and here zero is there. Again, what we'll do? We'll fill this three gallon jug with water. So we apply same rule. What is rule number two? Rule number two is what? Fill the three gallon jug. So here we have filled the three gallon jug. So we got three three. Okay, because what we want? We want to have th two gallons of water in a four gallon jug. This is what our final state. Now after that, I want to do. I want to transfer some water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug. So for that purpose, I need to apply rule number seven. Pour the water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug unless and until four gallon jug is full. That means I am transferring some water. So how how much water I can transfer? Obviously, the capacity of this jug is four gallon. So three gallon already there. So obviously, I will transfer one gallon water. So after that, what you find? Four two. So one gallon water is transferred from three gallon jug to four gallon jug. That's why you got this situation four two. And which rule you applied? Rule number seven. Pour the water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug until uh, four gallon jug is full. So this is how you got the solution four two. Uh, then. Next is what our final state is. We want two gallons of water in four gallon jug. Okay, so this is the thing. So what I will do? Uh, I'll apply rule number five or twelve. Five or twelve or means what? What is rule number five? Empty the four gallon jug on the ground. Or rule number twelve, empty two gallons on the ground. Okay, so I will apply rule number five. If you are getting confused, remove this. Only write five. I apply rule number five. What is rule number five? Empty the four gallon jug on the ground. What I will do? I will throw all the water from this four gallon jug. That's why you got this zero two. After that, what you will do? You will transfer this two gallon jug to four gallon jug. That means you will apply what rule number nine? Pour all the water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug because only two gallons of water is there. So you have applied. Rule number nine. Don't if you are getting confused, uh, you just uh, ignore this twelve and eleven. Ignore this twelve and eleven. Only consider this five and nine. So what we have done? We have transferred all the water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug. So in this way, we got this solution. Okay. So here you can see this is our final state two comma n. We want exactly two gallons of water in four gallon jug. So here we obtain this. That two gallon. This is our initial state. Initially, all uh, four, all the two jugs are empty. But finally, we want two gallons of water in four gallon jug. So this is how this is your solution. Okay. Now <coughs> next step is you need to have state space representation of a given solution. Here we obtain the solution for this water jug problem. Now we want to have state space representation of a problem because I told you that such kind of problem can be solved in three step: problem specification or problem definition, rule specification, and state space representation. So now carefully understand how state space representation of given problem can be given. So in this case, J underscore three means three gallon jug. J underscore four means four gallon jug. Initially both the jugs. Says uh, empty. That's why it is specified zero zero. This is our final state because we want two gallons of water in four gallon jug.
so this is our initial state we consider over here now in while specifying the state space representation what thing you have to remember you have to remember that here you have to give this possibility what are the possible what are the probable situations that may arise so this is your initial state so one possibility is that uh, you can uh, Feel some water in four gallon jug, or there is a possibility you can feel some water in three gallon jug. So on the left hand side, I considered that I will feel the four gallon jug. That's why here this left child is there. In the right child, I will feel the three gallon jug. Miss, uh, in this case, student may have doubt how to draw the state space representation. So while drawing the state space representation, you need to consider probable condition. What I can do in this case, as all two jugs are empty, so one thing is that either i can feel four gallon jug or i can feel three gallon jug so in this case i consider one possibility on left hand side that i have filled four gallon jug and on right hand side i consider another possibility that i have filled the three gallon jug okay now here suppose we consider uh, this left child now after that what is the possibility uh, possibility is that you will uh, again fill this three gallon jug this is one possibility or second possibility is that you will transfer the water from this four gallon jug to three gallon jug so again in the left hand side uh, possibility is that i will fill this three gallon jug so i done this uh, on the right hand side possibility is that i transfer the water from this four gallon jug to three gallon jug so here you can see i can transfer only three gallon jug because the capacity of this is three so here you can see three one okay later on i have not extended it uh, you if you want you can extend it okay so this is for left child now consider for right child now in this case j uh, 3 0 so in this case what is the possibility again the possibility is that you, uh, in this case you can transfer all the water from 3 gallon jug to 4 gallon jug okay you can transfer the all water from three gallon jug to four gallon jug so here you can see zero three is there or second possibility is that uh, uh, what you can do uh, you can feel the here actually three should be there you can feel the four gallon jug also here one mistake is there here we required three also uh, three four that means three is already there but here i will feel four or second possibility i'll transfer all the water from this to this okay now after that what i will do again i will fill three gallons of water over here so three three then transfer uh, water from three to four so here two remaining four is there then uh, i will throw all the water from this so two zero and then transfer this two to zero so this is our solution okay this part this 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 is our <coughs> state space representation of our problem see whenever you are drawing state space representation you have to take a help of this you will um, you miss from this you will get an idea which branch i have to extend okay in this case suppose you are finding the solution he see here from here you will get idea zero 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 is there after that zero three so after that uh, uh, zero three is there see uh, in this case this zero three is there so here 0 3 is there that means i come to know that from uh, this child there is no possibility of solution on this side there is a possibility because 0 3 is there okay next 3 0 is there whether here no but here 3 0 is there that means possibility that my solution exists on the right hand side after that 3 3 so 3 3 is there okay so i just consider left hand child for this here you can also develop right child also okay in this case what is the right child because in this case you have filled this so one possibility is that you can transfer this three to zero also okay so this is right child you can also generate but already we have done this so why to repeat the same thing again and again that's why i have not uh, developed the right child for this particular node that's why giving you idea that how while drawing a state space representation you have to take the help of this specified solution so 3 0 is there so from there you can see 3 0 after 3 0 3 3 so th you can find 3 3 after 4 2 you can find 4 2 then you find 0 2 then you find 0 2 and uh, finally you got 2 0 2 0 so in this way you got solution that means this is your 
complete state space representation in this way we have given a state space representation of a given problem so i hope you understand uh, how to solve such kind of problem so in this case uh, maybe um, uh, you will get different variety of problem having different capacity different condition but the way the approach you need to follow is same initially specify the uh, problem where you need what you need to do in problem specification you have to specify uh, the variable that you use to represent different job uh, you have to specify what is your initial state goal state then you have to specify the rule rule means nothing but the probability or possibilities probab uh, pro probable move that you can use and uh, third step is then you to develop a solution diagrammatic representation of your solution and finally what uh state space representation of your problem this is what are important so in this way you can solve this problem using three steps thank you